Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be doing the Ampton Showcase, as you can see here. And I should have the set up on screen now. It's quite varied and you can pause the video to see it. So without further ado, let's get right into a battle. So we are battling Yasur. So, okay, so he's got a set of lots of Gleam Lumions, so we're going to bring in Meditodes. Um, let's be tactical here. Yeah, we can bring in um, this, so we can get rid of the... We can bring in a uh, Soul. I think Garbantis is an opportunity, and Mawa works quite. I'm going to go with um, Tyrex. So, my, my set. So he's sending up Sidragon. Oh, Jolty, that was actually a really good, perfect there. So we're going to Primal Slash. Should be a one-shot KO. Oh, no, no, no. But it do did do big jam damage there. Primal Slash. Oh, that was a big hit. I think must have been a bit tanky. I think we're gonna give it a power of low frog. Come on, we gotta give low frog a chance here. I think we can mega punch it. Come on, mud spat. Go on. I'd like to see you try. Look at that very small damage there. Look at that, folks. Mega punch should knock it out. Oh, uh oh. -uh. Mud spat doesn't do a lot, so he should be fine, I and mean, we should be able to take it out. He's using crime slash. Nice, Mega Punch knocks it out. It is quite tanky Lumen, so I don't think Lol Frog is designed, but I feel like we can give Amphiton a chance. I just call it Lol Frog. Ooh, how are we gonna. We can go for the slap down here, but if this thing knocks me out, it isn't gonna be good. Nature's Force. Do big damage, but. Ooh, we did tank that, luckily, there. And oh, that did very big damage there. I think we're going to need to swap out into sweep here. Lol Frog did do very big damage on that hard tab there, so that's quite good. Toxic Tail is not going to do that much to me. We are very tanky. And of course, we're going to just finish it off with a Venom Chomp. Go. It has been knocked out successfully. So they're bringing out Doskin now. We can just hit with a battering ram. They're going with Mauer Mark. Oh, cool. Ooh, we can do fat damage to this thing. I want to get it low, then I want to finish it off with. Flinched? Heck yes, right. I want to I switch into Lol Frog. I think it's a bad idea. I just want to. I just want to give it some show time. Hydra. Oh, that could do big damage. Oof. I wasn't expecting that. Rip. I just wanted to give it some show time, but anyway, so we're just gonna battering ram it because it oh, it should one shot, yeah. <coughs> Sending out Urso. So okay. This is probably going to be more of a Garbantis sweep than a... Oh, okay, that actually did. Ooh, okay, that did big damage, that did big damage. Right, I'm going to have to switch into something that's a bit more suitable here. My rabbits are legit going off right now. <laughs> we're going to have Ursa v Ursa because we're smart and it doesn't affect me because um, I don't think this guy is a proper setup. I've got Shadow Sprint, so I'll be able to outspeed him, and I should one-hit KO, KO him. Exactly. <clears throat> there we go. We've won that. So, now we will move on to the next battle. Oh, we got say GG. GG. 
GG of course, GG. So battling Pert, five, six, four here. This has got a pretty interesting team. Yeah, lots of fossils. So, I want to be able to, hmm, let me just think about it here. We're going to bring in Ursul so we can counter the Musagon extremely well. We'll can counter Falkyrie here. We're going to bring in our Galbantis so we can counter all the light types. Obviously, we're going to bring Amphiton. That's the start of the show. We'll can counter Infernix. We are going to bring in Luminami here. And I think Joltooth will be in a good position as well. So, he's going to send out Tartab first. We're going to send out Gobantis, which is actually perfect. So we're going to go for the Venom Chomp. It's going to go for the Jungle Jutsu, but we should be able to live. So we're going to go for the Venom Chomp here. And it should do big damage. Oh, look at that. Fat damage there. I think we should switch because we have taken quite a hit there. I am going to go into Ursol. So he's going to go for the life drain. Decent move. Not going to get much HP back. So we are going to go for... The, I'm going to go for the chase now in case he decides to swap out. He isn't. Bold move. So he's going to... He is... I'm going to go for the chase now and I do knock it out. Come on, come on. Oh, he's going to send out the Valkyrie now. Moose could Falkyrie have? I think I want to go into Low Frog because we got to give him some uh, Amphiton, some uh, Showtime. Of course, this is the video that's going to make Amphiton um, a beast. Of course, it's not going to do that much at all, bro. That's that's very fat damage there. But we are going to go for the fat Mega Punch here. <laughs> it's going to do fat damage. I I hope this guy underestimates my little frog and he's switching out. So he's going to go send in Musagon, which does have its tank ability, unfortunately. And this thing, it can't actually mess me up quite mu that much. Surprise. So I'm actually going to go for the Taze here. So, oh, he does have Frost Punch. So I'm going to do that much. This pretty, thing's a pretty underrated tank. So we ha do have Paralyzed now. So I'm going to go for the Slap Down. So he is going to switch. So he's going to go into Infernix. It's quite interesting. Ooh, that did very big damage. But that guy has coal on it. That's actually so funny. I've mean, actually never seen someone put coal on an Infernix. That's actually very funny. I hope he doesn't go for the Phoenix Flame. He's going to go for the Phoenix Flame, which is very annoying. But oh my god, that did so much. He lost so much energy because of that. Oof, we are burned now. That is quite unfortunate. I'm going to go for the Taze, because, um, we can, so we can get Paralysis off. That thing used up all its energy so fast. So you're going to go into Valkyrie. Himba, this guy is switching way too much. But, oh yeah, he is a ground type, but that would have done fat damage to me. So we are going to switch. So, what be the ultimate counter so we're gonna go and see assault for this lol frog did a great job but it did half health to that thing so we gotta admit it's done a pretty good job Hoo -hoo. we luckily survived that because our assault is an absolute tank we're gonna go for the quick punch it's gonna do should do fat damage there quarter of its health not bad not quarter i mean a third it's gonna go for the yeti's wrath Ish, it will not but he became Days, which is a very good thing to, for us. So now we're going to go into um, my Lumen Army. <laughs> so we're going to go for the Maroon because it's going to do fat damage and it will lower its energy. That's a really good thing about Maroon. That's probably why it's the best water type move in the game right now. We need it to send. Okay, I love if he stayed in. Okay, so he is going to switch. She's going to send in Valkyrie. That is actually a smart play, but I'm sure we can get around it. 
Yeah, that is quite a smart play, actually. But we do heal. Anyway, if we get crit, we should knock this thing out. We didn't get crit, unfortunately. He's going to go for the Holy Slash. I don't think this thing is TP trained. And yes, it did tank it really well. So I'm going to go for this Sleet Shot because I know I can knock it out. I wanted to save energy. And that was a big brain play of mine. So what is he going to send in now? I hope he's going to send in Mutagon. He's going to send in Phoenix. I just want to get rid of it. So then I can send in, um, so he's redrawing, he's probably going to send in, oh, Himba. So we're going to go for the Flash Pulse. And he became dazed. This is quite a risky play, but I think I can do it. I think, um, Low Frog or Amphiton will be able to knock it out. He's going to go for the quick punch though. It's not going to do that much. Oh, but we do have to heal. We well, we don't have to heal, but... Actually, no, he's going to go for the Yeti's Wrath. That, that's a bad move. He's going to go for the Yeti's Wrath, so we got to wait for him to become days. That was a bad idea of mine. When he goes to Mutagon, that's when... I knew that. I predicted that. It would have knocked me out. See, because Yeti's Wrath is quite a powerful move. But luckily, we are going to go for the moon. And his next Mugon should... His next Lumion, I mean, should be Mugon. If I'm correct. He, he's got Infernix and Mugon left. So I'm going to go for the um, swap. The switch. Same thing. <laughs> anyway. So we're going to go into Lolfog here. I know Joltief hasn't had any action but this is um showing um amphiton's true power so he's gonna go for the taylor kinetic suite it's gonna do absolutely nothing to me we do actually need to i'm gonna go for a rest hope that so we are gonna rest we are gonna get a lot of energy back but the paralysis is working luckily day one hp right now we can go for the fat slap down. Oof, yes, it's tank ability. That was annoying. Ooh, oh no. Lawful died, but this thing, it's just showing how tanky it is. Unfortunately, it was burned, so that did suck. But I think with the bamboozle, we can get it. So we do have the bamboozle and it's going to go for it and nice, we did knock it out. But we do have Infernix Lurk. Although Amphiton's knocked out, it is a really tanky Lumion. Like surprisingly tanky. And it can do these quite big damage as well. So we're going to go for the Primal Slash here and it is going to knock it out of a crit. There we go. And GG. So, anyway, guys, this is going to wrap it up for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. And also, we have to bring Low Frog out for it. This frog is really underrated. It can, it can deal pretty big damage, but it is really tanky as well. So... I hope you guys start using that set. It's quite, this video's gonna take me a long time to make, but I've really enjoyed making it. So I would really appreciate it to support me by subscribing and all that. And anyway, I will see you in the next one, guys.